everyone it's Naomi Kanaika from gospelthrougharts.com it's a beautiful Friday happy Friday everyone I'm excited for Friday and I'm excited for the weekend God is so faithful God helped us to we have victory over this week God has been faithful and God has been good this week has been so busy so many things especially the children are home and summer break and so many other activities in between the work and so many things but god's grace is sufficient i want to encourage you today from the word of god and tell you from zechariah chapter 9 verse 12 and it says return to your fortress you prisoner of hope even now i announce that i will restore twice as much to you god's promise for you and me today my brother and sister is that you must have lost much but what you have lost that he will double it it says in the word that he will give us twice as much we have lost have you lost your time for sickness have you lost your time for other mountains and trouble the enemy's distress over your life whatever that you have lost god's promise for you and me is that he's going to give us double portion of what we have lost isn't our god so faithful he's so honest he's so good he's so kind and generous that's what i wanted he's so generous he tells me today that the years that i lost struggling with my children when they were diagnosed and the years that I lost couldn't have them do the things that they were supposed to do. I remember when they were toddlers I would take them to the park and the, all the other children would be enjoying on the slides, the swings and everything but my two boys, my twin boys, they didn't even know what to do. They're lost. They didn't know how to use a swing. They had trouble with fine motor skills. They had trouble with eye contact. They were like lost sheep. But God promises the years that I lost, years that they couldn't do stuff, God will double it. God will double it. Whatever the locust has stolen from you, God will double it. Maybe your finances, maybe your health, maybe the years, maybe the time. Don't you want to get back that time that you lost? going for appointments, going for therapy, going for this and that, that time that you could have used for so many other things. God is telling you and myself, I want to cry sometimes when I think of it, his promise that the years that I lost struggling with my sons, going for therapy after therapy and doing so many things humanly possible to help them. But finally, God had to intervene. God answered our prayers. So my brother and sister, a promise from God is so wonderful. He says, the years that I lost, I will give you twice. I will give you double. And in Joshua chapter 21, it has a wonderful verse from 44 onwards. 44, Joshua chapter 21 verse 44, it says, The Lord gave them rest all around according to all that he has sworn to their fathers. And not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. Don't you want rest? Sometimes I feel so tired. It's so many things, so many things uh, coming our way that you want rest. But you look forward for the weekend, but sometimes the weekends are busy too. You can't have that rest. But God says, I will give you spiritual rest. I will give your body physical rest. He says that all the enemies, he will stand between them, stand against them, and that they, the enemies will be delivered to your hand and you will have rest all around. Don't you want to have rest all around? Rest from the sounds, rest from interruptions, rest from everything else. You want that rest. God promises you. He says, the promise I made to your forefathers to give you rest, I'm going to give you rest. I want that rest. You don't have to wait for retirement to have that rest. 
you can have that rest today my brother and sister whatever age that you might be you might be a college student you might be a retiree you might be a busy mom you might be a very tired person whatever that you might be you might be need rest from your sickness whatever the enemy has planned against you god says that he will give you rest and verse 45 it is amazing he says not one of all the lord's good promises to Israel will fail everyone will be fulfilled wow God says that all the promises that he has promised you every one of them will be fulfilled every one of them will be fulfilled none will fail my brother and sisters this is the promise from God that he will give you double for your trouble and he will give you rest and he that none of his promises will fail do you trust this god do you trust the lord jesus do you know him personally do you know him as your good lord good father who keeps you promises and he will keep him because he's been faithful in the past he'll be faithful in the future this is your promise for today and for my self as well we need that double portion we need that rest we need all those promises for you and me let's pray today father we are humble that you love us so much that you gave your son jesus to die on the cross for me and my brother and my sister thank you for the rest that you're going to give us spiritual rest physical rest rest from our enemies rest from our troubles rest from our sicknesses rest from our financial needs God, that you will give us double for the years that the locust have stolen, for the time the locust has stolen, for the health the locust has stolen, for the sadness that the locust has given. You will give us double portion of joy, double portion of health, double portion of time, double portion of finances, double portion of your blessings. Because you are faithful. You said your promises will never fail. Then new every morning. Lord, we thank you that you will be with us, that you are faithful. We love you, we honor you. Touch my brother and my sister today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you heard me today. I want to sing one song. It's from Don Mion. It's called Return to Me. It's a beautiful song. All this is blessings that God will give to us. If we return to God, if we return to the Lord Jesus, ask him to forgive our sins and cleanse us and humble down before him. If we are humble, God will bless us. This is the blessing that he gives to us when we return to him, when we seek his face. So let's sing this song with me. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. If my people will humble themselves and pray, return to me, and I will return to you. You will be my people. I will be your God. Return to me. I will return to you. I'll give you a heart to know me. And I will be your God. If my people will humble themselves and pray. As your people, we have turned and walked away from the truth, from the light, from the way. We confess we have failed. We humble our hearts today. Will you hear from heaven? Forgive our sins and heal our land as your people will humble themselves and pray. Return to me, 
and I will return to you. You will be my people, and I will be my God. Return to you, I will return to you. I will be your God, if my people will humble themselves and pray. Oh, was that a seer with a with a do do um, dog or cat? Dog. Dog. All right. So everyone, have a wonderful day. Remember the promises that he gives you. Read if you have time. Isaiah, uh, Zechariah chapter nine verse twelve. It says that if we return to your fortress, your prisoner, you prisoner of hope, even I, I announce you, I will restore twice as much to you. And in Joshua chapter twenty one verse. 44 and 45 it says the Lord gave them rest all around according to all he has sown to his fathers and not a man of all their enemies stood against them the Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand and was 45 it says not one of all the Lord's promises to Israel failed everyone was fulfilled this is our God my brother and sister trust in him today depend on him today return to him today he will give you double for your trouble have a wonderful day god bless you share this message with your friends and your loved ones if you have not subscribed subscribe tomorrow we are planning to go to thousand islands with our church the lakeside church toronto only me and my daughter will be going and we are so excited to spend the whole day with our church family god has been faithful Have and a Ali, day. i hope Ali comes all right okay god bless you bye